All right, guys, we will uh, we'll go ahead and get started with our baptism. And um, just want to kind of make sure that everybody knows that this is, for us, this is a great time to celebrate, right? That this is truly where uh, men and women are publicly declaring before God and, and, and everyone else that He is Lord of their life, that they've committed and surrendered their life to Him. And this is their, their first big act of uh, obedience and letting everyone know that this is who they are. And so we don't want to take it lightly, and, but we want to celebrate. It's an amazing thing that has transpired in their life, and it's, it's huge. Uh, scripture tells us that, that, that we become new, that we have new life. And just the same way that you would celebrate a, a, a physical birth, we want to celebrate a spiritual birth. Amen? First. First. First up, we have Miss Caitlin Taylor. Miss Caitlin, I'm so excited about this. I get the opportunity to see uh, your son regularly, and then, so I know how much this means to the family and to him and to you and. And so I'm excited to be able to share this with you. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Next up, we have Miss Fallon Kennedy. So excited. Talked with you yesterday and had the opportunity to kind of hear a little bit of your story and excited about what this means to you. And would, would you mind just sharing why you would want to be baptized now? Well, I've um, been saved for many years and in and out of the church. And lately, I've, um, God has just blessed me and my family so much. And I want to um, make it right with the Lord and make this public. That, um, that we serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. So you indeed have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, Next up, we have Miss Kylie Nelson. Miss Kylie, when we talked on the phone, you were excited about this. In fact, I know that last week at church, she wanted to make sure, hey, people know I'm getting baptized, right? They, they want to, they, they're having baptism service. I'm going to be a part of it, right? And so this must be a really big thing to you. I pray that not just the people that are here, but the people everywhere. Everyone that you encounter, that you tell them that you have this new life, that you were once someone else, and now Jesus has made you new, that you were truly once blind, and now you see. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Anyone else? <laughs> that concludes our baptism service for today. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> 